When managing a project, and you find yourself falling behind in one area, you have to make managerial decisions as to how you will compensate to keep the overall project on track. This involves a shuffling of resources, altering the scope of selected task source of tasks, or even changing sequence of tasks. Let's visit each of these. It happens to the best of project managers. You start a task, and soon enough you find yourself under-resourced. You didn't know that a particular task or subtask was going to be so challenging. If it's critical to the overall project, it makes sense to borrow resources from other task areas. Just as you discovered that some tasks clearly mandate greater staff resources, you may also find tasks and subtasks that could be completed with less effort than you initially budgeted. Perhaps some subtasks can be combined or skipped altogether. For example, if you're doing survey work, perhaps you can get a reasonable result with 8 questions instead of 10. As a result of this, you would reduce the total number of interviews by 20%. Another possibility when faced with roadblocks is to change the sequence of tasks or subtasks. Can you substitute easier tasks for more challenging ones until some of your other staff resources are free? Perhaps you can devise a sequence that enables some of your more experienced staff members to manage multiple tasks for a brief duration. The Gantt chart is a useful device for engaging in what-if type questions. As you look at the sequence of events, their duration, and the number of allotted staff days, sometimes you see opportunities to make shifts in advance of the need. Such shifts may help things to run more smoothly down the road. 